This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Transportify is your on-demand delivery solution. Book through our easy mobile or web app. Select the right vehicle to fit your needs at just the right price. We save you up to 40% over regular transport prices. Transportify serves Bangkok Metro, Greater Jakarta, and Metro Manila with more cities coming soon. Try us and join our revolution. Welcome to Usapang Bayan. Ako po si George Chua, kasama ang aking co-host na si Rach Marquez. Pag-uusapan po natin ang mga mahahalagang pangyayari at isyu na kinaharap ng ating bansa. Mga kasama po natin sa gabing ito ang co-country directors ng Transportify, Mr. Paolo Bengson and Mr. Noel Abelardo. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Well, you, welcome, you uh, Paolo and Noel. Thank so you. we saw that short clip about Transportify, yeah. but I think it's better for our audience to hear it straight from you, what Transportify is all about and how you got involved in Transportify. All right. Um, well, oh. Transportify is a mobile and web app. Um, so what, what we do is we um, connect businesses or individuals through our driver partners, essentially through an app. So it can be downloaded on uh, Google Play or Apple Store, or even you can use our, our web app for that. Um, how did we start, Pao? Yeah, so um, we're a Transportify is actually an ASEAN company. We're a Southeast Asian company with operations in three countries, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines. So we enable uh, people either individuals or businesses to find delivery service providers, uh, most of which are va delivery vans. And they find them on a marketplace, similar to how some apps are able to find you a driver for your passenger transport. This is to find for your business transport. Mm. And we connect, we allow people who have vehicles or who want to get into the business of delivering, we allow them to enroll on our platform so they can find uh, work or business to transport goods, goods for other people. Would you say that this is similar to the um, concept of uh, Uber and Grab in that it's an app-based application that instead of ferrying people from one point to another, you are doing it for goods? Um, that that uh, is, is the most popular way we're known. So in terms of uh, making a booking and accepting a booking, it feels a lot like yes. Grab and Uber. Yes, um, although the actual experience, the physical experience is very different. Uh, going from one place to another, um, yung hinahatid guys, is, is a, a feeling that we're all very used to. Uh, a normal driver can do yeah. that for you. However, experiencing a delivery wherein you put in requirements, whether you need extra services, whether you, you have specific uh, instructions, those are something that that are, are, are different and uh, the experience with the driver is much richer. You really need a very good 
service provider to to achieve a good service level? Well, well for one, you don't have the passenger to tell you where to go. <laughs> right? he has to figure it all out himself. Uh, yeah. The package is not going to help him get yeah. to where he needs to go. But I, I also would, would like to point out that as we were talking about it earlier, the big difference is that um, your, your franchise for, for higher trucks is not uh, suspended. I mean, it's an ongoing thing, unlike in the case of, let's say, um, taxi operations yeah. and uh, other passenger type of uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, service. Uh, these are all under moratorium, or they have stopped giving out franchises for these. Mm -hmm. And that, that's why I think to a certain extent, the, tra uh, the U Uber and the Grab models have had some uh, problems in that regard. Mm. Yes, that is correct. There's, there's already um, an established regulatory framework that's quite clear, especially for, for vans, the FB type vehicles that you see all around the city. And uh, uh, this regulation is, is quite clear. And one thing we do for our partners is that after they've driven a little bit, and we know that they're, they're dedicated to this business, we help them gain clarity on the process and we handhold them through the process to make it um, so that everything is handled and assisted by us. Since you've already mentioned businesses, sir, what kind of businesses avail of your services? Well, we started out, uh, to be honest, when we started here in Manila last year, uh, it was July 2015 when we launched um, here in the Philippines. And initially, we wanted to uh, help out small, medium-sized enterprises. We started with SMEs because we knew at the very beginning that they had their pain point. That was, that was the most difficult for them. Or a few things that's very challenging for, for them to grow their business is logistics. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are able to help them out um, by providing very cost-efficient uh, and high service level um, uh, deliveries for them. Uh, they make their customers happy and they're happy in turn. So, and at, at the same time, they have less to worry instead of you having your own fleet, employing your own driver and all that. So now they're, they're able to focus more to how to go grow their business. Their main business yes. instead of having to worry about the periphery. But, but in a way also we've evolved from that, uh, that framework from uh, small to medium sized enterprises. We've built, um, we've gained enough knowledge about the market. We've built certain processes and systems that allow us to be capable of servicing bigger clients, bigger enterprise clients. So in fact, now most of our clients that, that inquire about us is asking about, you know, how, how do I, uh, how do you make deliveries nationwide? How do you make deliveries outside Metro Manila? what is your restrictions what is your capabilities and um, these are the things that we're able to address for big client businesses w when you say a big client how big is big how do you measure it by the number of deliveries they do a well day yes or? number one would be volume and the next would be just the name like the oh. big enterprise well without mentioning the specific names could you give us an idea of the volume of how many uh, you know deliveries they make in a single day uh, well, one of our, you know, one of our biggest clients, they, uh, they, I think, make booking-wise about in a week, maybe two hundred to four hundred a week. Wow, <laughs> it's really a lot. <laughs> that they, they, it's just one client. Yeah, and and the way you were explaining it to us earlier uh, was that uh, it's not a simple matter of just taking and taking them on as a customer. What you do some customization. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about that? So maybe we have some potential customers of yours that might want to jump on board. Yeah, well, we kind of figured out that uh, you know certain businesses would have certain problems and, certain and they would have different processes, especially when you're going inside warehouse or when you're doing dispatching or uh, a lot of operational stuff. So one of the things that we do at, uh, at the office is that um, as a young group, we gather together in, on a regular basis and talk about how do we service certain clients and how do we solve their problems. So one of the things that we came up with is actually mapping the process of the client. Um, and through that, we are able to help them uh, understand where we can position ourselves in helping them with their deliveries and at the same time find out their requirements. Think about it like 
like when you make a booking, what the driver sees is a little bit customized for you. Yeah. yeah. Right. So when it comes in here, uh, all the steps for lahat ng mga papeles mo, all the document delivery documents, the driver will already have instructions on how to fill those out. The driver alam na niya kung anong gagawin pagpasok sa warehouse. Kung sino hahanapin niya. Kung sino hahanapin, and that that will automatically come with your booking. So it has your special set of instructions, and the driver fleet is already aware and has built the habit already of always reading these instructions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does this happen, sir? Do you conduct trainings for your drivers? Absolutely. Yes. So, I mean, to, to be part of our, our driver partner fleet, what one needs to do is first we apply, we, and the, they apply to us, and then we have some screening criteria. I mean, the main thing is whether they have a, uh, the correct vehicle. Uh, sometimes someone tries to enroll a jeepney, and that's not <laughs> something we, we accept on our platform. Uh, but uh, first, they have to pass our screening process. Then they have to come to one of our offices. Ma we do most of our trainings in our main office. And they have to undergo an eight-hour onboarding process. Now, what happens during that process is, uh, during that training, is that first we enroll them in our system, our IT system and our app. And then we train them on how to execute the delivery properly. Then we test them. And the passing grade is 100%. So they wow. mag retake ng retake sila until, until you, you get 100. They get 100. Um, w we're talking about all of the requirements. And th these are all commercial or corporate type requirements. Mm -hmm. But what about government regulatory requirements? Are you in full compliance or are you possibly going to be some, you know, the g en encountering problems uh, that? Uh, you know, some other mm -hmm. uh, companies are experiencing? So there's there's um, two answers to that. Uh, it really depends on which type of vehicles we're, we're talking about here. Um, if we're talking about vans and trucks, we're, we're in compliance there. Uh, of course, there are some that are still waiting and taking the risk to, to, to do deliveries without. Um, so those guys, they're under the process of, of getting their license. So there's a truck for hire license that they need to get and we're assisting them through that process by getting the, forcing them to get the requirements for such application. Now, we may encounter sometimes that sometimes the drivers don't have enough money to get these applications, so they do some deliveries first before they, they get those documents. Well, how much does it cost to be fully compliant? I mean, for, <laughs> for the processing and things like that. So, from our experience, it costs between uh, twelve and 16000 to gather all the requirements mm. and to to go through the necessary steps within the licensing process. What's been difficult is to actually know what you need to do. And right. that's where you can yes. help. That's right? where we have full clarity. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, we need to have a station break. Sa amin pong pagbabalik, makakasama pa rin natin si Transportify Co-Country Directors Paul Bengson at uh, Noel uh, 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 Abelardo. No? And uh, we will be uh, back after this break.